With the release of Thor The Dark World, the comic book world becomes a little brighter with yet another amazing comic book film adaptation. There has been a full generation of amazing comic book flicks with more to come, but what about the ones that were overlooked? In fact, there are so many comic book films to sift through that maybe I should bring in an expert. I don't know, maybe somebody who's interviewed Stan Lee. Here she is, comic book guru, proud New Yorker, and one of the very first real schoolers, Marlene from I Like Comics 2. Hey Marlene. Hey Mike. Without further ado, here it is, the top five underrated comic book films. Let's do it. Time to shine some light on these dark horses. In this, The, the real, real School, School Countdown. Countdown. Number five, The Shadow. Originally from the Orson Welles radio drama, The Shadow is one of the oldest comic books to ever be adapted to the big screen. And I know what you're saying. It took almost 70 years and this is what we got? Sure, Alec Baldwin may not be Orson Welles, but that million dollar voice and those playboy good looks, at least in the 90s, brought both Lamont Cranston and The Shadow to life. Sure, John Lone and Penelope Ann Miller aren't the best actors, but the cast includes Tim Curry, Peter Boyle, Ian McKellen, and one of Jonathan Winter's last live action appearances. You couple that great cast with the beautiful art direction and a haunting Jerry Goldsmith score, and you've got a pretty decent comic book flick. Number four, The Punisher. Thomas Jane, Ray Stevenson, or Dolph Lundgren? Do I even have to dignify that with a response? Thomas Jane clearly loved this character. Not only did he train for seven months to look more like an FBI agent, but he even made his own fan film later just so he could play the character one more time. Sure, the film may not be perfect, I think Ben Foster, Rebecca Romaine, and John Panette had a lot to do with that. But this is a great revenge flick with visceral kills and an actor who really took the character seriously. Number three, Constantine. Fans of the comic book hate the movie because it's a clean cut Hollywood version with pretty boy Keanu Reeves playing their beloved anti-hero, John Constantine. This film, however, has a lot going for it. Keanu was made for this role with his sarcasm and his chronic bitch face. I just wish they had kept Constantine's signature blonde hair. Much like Punisher, you have to ignore some of the supporting performances like Shia LaBeouf and especially Gavin Rosdale, but this is a very solid cast. Oscar winner Tilda Swinton, Oscar winner Rachel Weisz, and of course Oscar nominee Jamon Hansu as Papa Midnight. Not only did this demon fighting flick have much of the darkness that the comic book did, but its views on demons and angels really had never been seen on screen before. An androgynous angel in Gabriel was brilliant. Because it's true, why would angels have gender? Not to mention the greatest visual representation of Satan that doesn't include red-faced paint horns and a pitchfork. Number two, Watchmen. I'm still not sure why fans don't like this movie. Was it the awkward sex scene to Leonard Cohen's Hallelujah? Was it the abundant shots of blue penis? Full frontal indigo aside, this is one of the smartest comic book films ever made. Probably because it's adapted from one of the smartest graphic novels ever made. Part of it may be that this is the most political comic book movie made. Delving into heavy subjects such as homosexuality, domestic violence, and tearing apart the American dream. Plus, they made Nixon a three-term president. But pre-Man of Steel Zack Snyder was the perfect filmmaker to bring Alan Moore's cult story to life with his bright visuals and integral use of period music. Plus, the ending, though very different from the source material, worked surprisingly well for general audiences who had no idea about the graphic novel. Number one, Batman Returns. I've said a version of this before, but the best way to put it is that the original in 1989 was a good Batman movie. With Batman Returns, it was a good movie with Batman in it. Because of that, fans dismiss it as a comic film at all. They see it as too dark, overly sexual, and gory. But come on! You've got Danny DeVito playing the Penguin. If that isn't the perfect touch of campy, I don't know what is. But while it wasn't a good Batman movie, it was an amazing Tim Burton movie. And for those of you still in denial, Keaton is still the best Batman. And the movie? Well, arguably the prettiest Batman film. Unsurpassed gothic beauty. Agree or disagree with the list? Leave your picks for top five in the comment section below. And if you haven't done so already, why not visit Marlene at I Like Comics too? Check out her videos. And why not subscribe? So Marlene, thanks for your expertise. Thank you. And until next time, school's, school's out. out.